This is the Halo Plus from Xtreme, and today we're going to take a look. So the Xtreme Halo Plus is a projector with a battery inside. That means it's super portable. It's 1080p, it runs Android TV 10, and it gives out a whopping 900 ANSI lumens too. That's 100 more than the previous Halo. So you could say that this is the thinner, younger sister of the Xtreme Horizon Pro. It's better to take out, but it's not as sharp or bright. No? Now I have done a review of the Horizon Pro, so if you want me to do a side-by-side -side comparison with these, let me know in the comments below. But, let's break this down. First of all, let's look at the design. Now, it is quite a small projector. It can fit quite easily in my hand and I can hold it no problem at all. It's got this really nice metal perforated finish uh, and that works as an air intake as well. And then the air comes out the back and we also have our ports. We have four inputs, that is power, headphones, HDMI, and USB. And then we also have our power button. Now, separate from the power button on the back, on top, we have two volume touch buttons and a pause play button. There's also an LED there so you can see when it's on. Now at the front we have the lens and also the little auto keystone sensor here. Now that works fantastically, especially when paired with the autofocus. Now it's a decent weight, about 1.6 kilos. Having a battery in it does mean it is gonna weigh your bag down a little bit more if you're taking it around. But then again, you wouldn't want it being too light it does feel a bit heavy, but it feels sturdy. Now there is also the rubber base that assists with that. You can also use this kickstand here to sort of wrench it up at an angle, and there's a little hole there for sticking it on a tripod. Now the remote is this fairly nice, simple design. You have all your basic navigation buttons there with shortcuts to settings and things, but there's also a microphone and this button here, which activates the Google Assistant. That means you can get to where you want to go without using all the buttons and by just asking the remote to take you there so let's get it started now as this thing is portable we can pretty much just stick it anywhere and get it going without the need of a power cable once we are where we want it to be we just turn it on the projector will automatically line itself up with the wall and keystone it to create a straight screen we can then make minor adjustments to how we might want it but it will do all of that and focus itself ready to go with no input from us. And what is great, not only does it do that, but it also does obstacle avoidance, which means you can put something in the way and it will be able to change and move the screen out of the way of that obstacle. Now, whenever the projector is moved or nudged, it will automatically do that again. So you don't have to worry about someone knocking it and knocking the projector out of focus. Now, if you do feel like the projector is slightly out of focus, you can use the remote and press the little switch at the bottom. Then you can use the volume buttons to slightly change the focus one way or the other. Now, it runs Android TV 10. Android is pretty much the standard for projectors, and you see it on pretty much every single one that's out there. But on this one, it does run great. There isn't any sort of lag or delay whilst navigating. Everything is running very quickly and very sharply, especially when navigating and loading apps. Now, all of our settings are built into the Android UI, so you can either press this button here to get to them, or you can go through the Android homepage to get there too. And from there you can change all of the Android settings and things like the picture settings to sort of try and extend the battery life if you want to. Now speaking of battery life, you'll definitely get away with watching TV shows on this and most movies. Honestly, you're going to struggle using this off of the lead for your Lord of the Rings marathon because Extremely only rate it for two hours. Now realistically, you could probably extend that to up to three hours with some conservative settings, and I got about two and a half hours from just leaving it as standard. Now the benefit of this projector is how flexible it is. And because everything is built in, it works a dream for streaming, except Netflix. I think Netflix hates projector companies. So far, every projector that I've reviewed doesn't support Netflix, and it's an absolute nightmare. Now, you can plug in an external device to get Netflix, uh, but that sort of ruins some of the portability aspects of this projector, so it is a bit frustrating. Now, how is the picture? Now, it is a pretty decent picture when the conditions are right. 
Ultimately, this is a portable projector and it's running off of a battery, so it doesn't get as bright as some of the other projectors out there. Now, it does support HDR10 and it does look pretty good when it's used in a dark room on a dedicated screen. The colours are fairly decent and the image is surprisingly sharp considering it's only 1080p. The issue is, is that as soon as there's any ambient light, the image quality does suffer. The 900 anti-lumens is okay in a dark room, but it's pretty much unwatchable during the day. Now, if you use the projector close to a wall and you get a really small screen, that will make the brightness better. Uh, but as soon as you're wanting to fairly decent sized screen and there's sunlight in the room, it's just not gonna happen. Now, you can use this during the day and have some TV programs or things you're not really that interested in watching for the quality of it. Things like kids TV shows and stuff like that. But for actual decent TV and movies, you're gonna be wanting to use this in the dark. Now, one of the things I do really like about this is that you can use it anywhere and any surface can become a display. You can have it in the kitchen or then you can take it into the living room, have it in your bedroom. And one of the major standouts is the speaker. Now, it is from Harman and Carden and it sounds Brilliant. Considering the size of this little projector, I'm so shocked by the amount of sound and the volume that you can get from this. So this is me sat by the projector talking, and this is it at max volume. Now we don't have uh, arc or optical audio, which ultimately you'd expect from a portable projector because you're not gonna hook it into your home theater setup. But because the speaker on it is so good, you wouldn't really want those. Now, can we use this for gaming? Yeah, we can. Now there is a low latency game mode, which means you can get the input lag as low as 26.5 milliseconds. You do sacrifice some of the other features, so you won't be able to use the keystoning feature because that does slow everything down a little bit. And honestly, even when keystoning, it's still perfectly playable. Now it also runs at 60 hertz, which means it's fairly smooth to play on as well. I didn't see any noticeable screen tearing or anything like that, and the gameplay was just nice and smooth. No tearing, no juddering, I was quite happy. Now one of the issues that a lot of people have is fan noise. How loud is the fan noise? And it's not bad at all. In fact, I'll even show you. So, projector is on and it is going, I'm talking how loud I talk and if you can hear it, then well done. But I'll stop and see if you can hear it. It is very, very quiet. Now, a couple of the things that I think are really good about this projector is the fact that it's got Chromecast built in, so you can easily Chromecast to it from your phone. It also boots up super quick. Once you have it switched on, you can put it into hibernate mode and it can turn on within six seconds. So guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you put in the comments whether you want to see a comparison between this and the Horizon Pro. And if you want to see my review on that projector, click here and I'll see you in the next one. Whoop.